everyone, this is Dijon Roll with your BW Now Command Information Team. And on this edition of our video blog, we are talking about transformation and the changes that are happening in the Mannheim community dealing with health care. And I have with me somebody who knows all about it. Can you introduce yourself? Yes. Hello, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Rachel Smith. I'm the commander of the Mannheim Army Health Clinic and the Coleman Troop Medical Clinic. Okay, ma'am. What are the major changes as far as health care happening in the Mannheim community that are actually coming up pretty soon? The major change that we need to inform our public about is that uh, the Mannheim Army Health Clinic will close on 30 September. That will be its last patient care day for the beneficiary population in that area. So this is medical, dental, that entire facility will close down as of September 30th, correct? Yes, on 30 September the medical and dental clinic that's on Ben Franklin Village, mm -hmm. will that will be its last patient care day. A question that I think a lot of people have is, if you still have many people working, soldiers, families, civilians living and working in Mannheim, why close the clinic now, now? The closure of the Mannheim Army Health Clinic is all a part of the European transformation. Um, as we take a look at where our Army units are moving throughout Europe, we need to take a look at how we're providing that medical care to, them, to ensure that we're providing the same quality and accessible care for the beneficiary population. So we're looking at consolidating our medical care. Uh, that quality and, and access will still be there just at different locations, all a part of the European transformation. Now, speaking of soldiers and units, if I'm active duty or I'm a family member, where will I go for care? For active duty um, members, they'll go to the Troop Medical Clinic on Coleman Barracks. Um, and for family members, they'll be enrolled into the Heidelberg Health Center. Um, that'll all be a part of um, the same quality and accessible care that they're, they are receiving they'll receive at either Heidelberg or the, troop, the Coleman Troop Medical Clinic. Now, if I'm a civilian or a retiree in the Mannheim community, where will I go then? No real change for them. Um, if they were being seen at the Mannheim Army Health Clinic, mm -hmm. um, civilians and retirees can be seen at the Heidelberg Health Center. Uh, for them, however, it will be more of, um, and they need to actively enroll, whereas our active duty members, if they are not, if they do not already enroll themselves into the Coleman Troop Medical Clinic, they'll be automatically enrolled to Coleman on 1 October. Same with family members. If they are not already transitioning to the Heidelberg Health Center on 1 October, they'll be automatically enrolled into the Heidelberg Health Center. But our active duty population, um, what they need to, um, or excuse me, our, our civilian population, DOD civilians and retirees, what they need to be uh, aware of is that they'll have the same quality of care, um, but the access might be a little more difficult as that troop population grows in those right. areas. So it'd be more on a space available basis. Now there's, I'm sure, gonna be more questions, um, a need for more information. Where is the best place for folks to go for information about these changes in this particular closure in Mannheim? For more information, they can always come into the, the clinic. We have several um, promotions going on throughout September. On 7 September, we have the skin care screening that they're trying to bring folks into the clinic. We can help them uh, re-enroll in their other clinics at that time. Mm -hmm. On the 9th of September, we have a health benefits promotion in the Mannheim Army Health Clinic uh, where we're bringing AFN out to help us advertise right. that, uh, that health benefits promotion and we'll be actively enrolling patients then also to their appropriate clinic and helping them understand what's available, the TRICARE online, uh, where our website is if they need, what our phone numbers are, the patient liaisons that are available to assist them. All of that types of information will be put out all through the month of September and on the health clinic. What message would you like to give to the community as far as this closure, or just things that you want folks to know in the Mannheim community? Um, well, what I'd like to um, make sure they understand is that what's best for them is to be an active participant in their health care, to understand what their health care needs are and where to get that care, whether it be in Heidelberg um, for our family members or in Coleman for active duty members, um, but also to understand what's in their community, to not wait for an emergency to know where your closest emergency room is, to understand where that is in your community and go visit those facilities. Um, also to participate in their, uh, their preventive medicine programs that are out there, to be actively engaged in their health care to ensure that they are um, doing what they need to do. Is there anything else that you would like to add or say? Uh, the other thing I would just like to add is that 
Although Mannheim Army Health Clinic is closing, that quality accessible health care is still available to our patient population. It's just that now it will be in Heidelberg Health Center for our family members and the Coleman Troop Medical Clinic for our active duty members. That's all the time we have for now. Continue to keep tuned into these video blogs as well as the Herald Post and we'll bring you more information about transformations and closures as we receive it. Thanks.